When's the last time you've been to the zoo? Zoos have been a popular attraction for many years now, but in recent times, zoos have become a hot topic regarding if they should be banned or not. Some people think that zoos might be necessary for education, but the fact is that zoos should be banned due to these following reasons. Due to the mistreatment animals face in captivity, the physical and mental strain placed on these animals, as well as the potential danger of keeping animals so close to the public and the false images created about animals from zoos. Today, we're gonna take a trip through this popular attraction where we can go ahead and first get started at the front desk, which will shine a light on the living condition of these animals. First and foremost, zoos subject animals to cruel treatment in captivity. Animals in zoos are often confined to small spaces, which restrict their natural movements and behaviors. A statistic by Ballard Brief helps to visualize just how drastic the difference in space is between captivity and that of freedom. On average, lions and tigers receive about 18,000 times less space in captivity. Also, another important variable to keep in mind is how not only are these habitats not adequate in space, but have harmful simulation provided to them from the public in the form of loud crowds, construction work, and other loud noises. Also, in some cases, while rare, Animals have even been found to have been abused by zookeepers or other staff members. These conditions are simply unacceptable and should not be allowed to continue. Now, let's go ahead and make our way down into the aquarium exhibit to find out about the negative impacts on these animals. Animals in zoos are often exposed to stressful and unnatural conditions, which can lead to a host of health problems. For example, animals in zoos might suffer from obesity, dental problems, and other health issues that they normally wouldn't face in the wild. In addition to that, zoos can disrupt social structures and prevent animals from engaging in natural behaviors, such as hunting and mating. Furthermore, animals in zoos may experience boredom and depression, which can lead to abnormal behaviors, such as pacing in circles or carrying a blank stare. This condition is known as zoocosis. IDA USA helps, informs, helps to inform us about this condition it typically originates from a lack of proper overall caring of the animal. It is a disease and certainly a telltale sign of suffering that leaves only one solution, to get rid of zoos permanently. As we're walking along to our last stop, we're stopped by a zookeeper who brings his counter to our argument so far. He lets us know that he and many others believe that zoos are necessary for both conservation and education efforts. We know, however, though, that the fact is these goals can be obtained through other means that don't involve keeping animals in captivity. For instance, many places and sites such as sanctuaries and wildlife uh, re rehabilitation centers make it possible to keep animals in their natural habitats and still providing means for op and providing opportunities for education efforts. Furthermore, advancements in technology such as live streaming and uh, VR have made it possible to create a real and immersive experience without forcing animals out of their homes. After seeing that important view from the zookeeper, we can go ahead and now properly make our way down to our last stop, which will show us about the potential danger uh, to the public from animals. Animals and zoos have been known to escape from their exhibits and attack people occasionally, causing bodily injury or even in some cases death. One Green Planet tells us of the more ethical side of animal escapes and how tragic these events always seem to unfold. It tells, of a, it tells us of a lynx named Lilith that had escaped from a zoo in Wales. She was eventually found weeks later in a public residential area where she met her untimely fate from being shot by local authorities who had ordered it. This is the sad reality that exists for animals who escape because of the nature of them since they're predators. Also, moreover, Zoos can perpetuate the fact that animals are, are harmless or friendly even, which causes people to approach them in the wild. Because of that, this is where you see stories and headlines about people getting injured from approaching wildlife come from. Having made our way through the entire zoo now, and even seeing how zoos may seem like a great way to help educate people about animals, they should ultimately be banned. Let's summarize what we went over today. Today, we were able to go over why uh, the kind of treatment that animals suffer from in captivity, the mental and physical strain placed on animals, as well as the potential danger to animals, or the potential danger to the public from animals, and the false images and stories told by zoos. Those positives are simply overwhelmed by the negatives. And so because of that, it's time for us to rethink our relationship with animals and realize that they too deserve to be treated with dignity and respect.